Hello, Zero K fans, and welcome to Nanolathes at Dawn. I'm your host, Shadow Fury 333 and today we're going to be starting out with a bit of a larger map, Icons and 400 on Cold Snap, a map which we don't see a huge amount in 1v1. Comes up in team games, but not 1v1 too often. Icons going immediately for the Amphibious Plant, while 400 going for the Spiderbot Factory, which kind of makes sense. I mean, we did see the last game I had on here was actually another Spiderbot versus Shield, I think, and Spiderbots did really well just because they could take advantage of all these hills, set up Venom, set up Hermits, just basically use all these hills around here just to get rid of anything going through the center line. Icons, however, at the south of the Amphib Plant, which I find rather curious because the Amphibious Plant isn't really one I would associate with the map this large. Ducks aren't super fast. I mean, they're only 84 ml per second. To compare, Glaze move at close to 120. So, on a map this large and this flat, it's not really that viable. The fact that 400 is going for spider bots does make it a bit more viable. But if 400 had gone for vehicles or gone for even cloak, well, cloak he wouldn't have worked, but shields, for instance, because bandits have an easier time against ducks, yeah, it would have been a lot different. It would have been a lot harder for Icons. I'm not sure what their plan is. I'm sure they've got one, I just don't know what it is. Because this is unusual for not this large. Like, this lower area, I suppose you could... No, I mean, you are not going to terraform that into water. So I'm guessing we're not going to see ducks. I'm guessing we're going to probably see some support building up economy and using that to get a grizzly and then powering that through. Maybe a few ducks in the meantime because you kind of need them to not die. But probably the goal is power a grizzly ASAP and then just walk it along the map and break down 400's door. Just break down 400's front door right off the bat. That's probably how things are going to go. That's my guess. 400 on the other hand, I mean, it's a pretty solid factory. They're going to be setting up units around, they're going to be setting up the mountains, they're going to be building everything they can so that they can just keep everything under their control. But they have a factory with which to do so, because, like I said, lots of hilly areas, and Spiderbots are all terrain, so it all works out. So 400 makes a lot of sense with their strategy, and they are getting quite far ahead economically. Icons, on the other hand, they're expanding, but slowly. I mean, part of that seems to be a bit of timidity, as we can see... Well, actually, part of that's timidity. Part of that is just the fact that they started at different parts of the map. 400 started in the north side of the map, which has more resources spread more evenly, whereas Icons in the south side of the map has resources spread... Much, is there, actually, I don't think there are as many resource spots, but they're definitely more clustered. I mean, you have four, eight, five, six right here, as opposed to four at the north side, with the other two out further out. But yeah, it's just more even spread. Although, yeah... I don't know, because these would be equivalent, these six down here would be equivalent to the ones over to the north. And then you have four over here, and you have four over here. No, it looks like it's really just that 400 is much more focused on building up their economy. They have two workers as opposed to Icons one. They have, they are taking the center, whereas Icons is more slowly taking everything and building up a lot of defenses around everything. Although 400 is getting very low on energy, that's the one problem. 400 needs a lot more energy, needs more power plants. Not sure if they're going to build that right now. I really don't know, but they need them. Oh, I see. They they have them planned. It's just they... Okay, really? They're going to wait that long? So both players are accessing a bunch of metal. At this point, Icons is actually ahead in terms of production capacity. Just for their slight... Slight advantage in energy. That is really the only thing that's giving Icons any real production advantage right now. 400, on the other hand... Yeah, they're not going to be able to do too well. They are actually rushing a crab, though. Four minutes into the game, and already a crab is on the way. So, here I was thinking Icons was going to rush the heavy units, but apparently, no. 400's the one going immediately for their Demi Strider. And Icons going for a bit of harassment over to the south side. This should be somewhat effective, especially since 400 had already planned to set up a bunch of solar plants, which currently they aren't. They canceled those plans. And now... Oof, Venoms do not do well against spider- and against ducks, I mean. Unfortunately, ducks having the rockets they do really gets in the way of Venoms. I mean, they have to get close enough to get stunned, but it takes quite a few Venoms to stun out enough ducks that the Venoms don't die to the rockets. The duck range, however, is not huge, but still, it's just... The ducks fire rockets, even if they get stunned, that high alpha shot is still going to hit the Venoms and stop the Venoms from living. Which then, of course, stops them from stunning things. So right now, 
400 is desperately trying to get this crab, but they don't have, a, well, not, maybe not desperately, they don't have any production going to it. They have no workers there, they have no weavers, they have no caretakers, nothing nearby to actually stop this. Venom's doing what they can, and actually it looks like Venom's do outrange ducks just enough. Wasn't totally sure, you don't really see this. Oh no, 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 wait a sec. No, they're even range. It's just that Venoms are a touch faster. And unfortunately for Icons, they did lose a couple conches going over to the north, but that was already taken by 400. However, unfortunately for 400, Icons going through everything, taking all these metal extractors out, taking the factory out pretty soon. There is finally a weaver at the factory for 400, helping to build that crab, but there needs to be two or three there in order to avoid excess. Like, 400 is excessed a lot, and despite the metal advantage, despite the metal income advantage, 400 right now is not really taking advantage of it. There hasn't been much that I'd say is in any way an advantage. But anyway, the crab just about finished. This will help a lot to get rid of the ducks, but 400 is going to have to rebuild. If they're on for rebuilding, then they're good. They'll be fine. But they have to be, they have to actually be rebuilding for this to work. And first shot misses. Bit of splash on the ducks. There we go. That's what they need to do. And the last duck getting stunned out. Four getting killed. So that crab got out just in time. Although, that being said, 400 has lost the entire northern side. And Ikens with a few ducks down there for patrolling just to make sure that nothing is built further. 400 will probably rebuild the southeast. That's the only place they can really rebuild. And they already have a weaver over there. So it should be fine. Should be able to do that pretty soon. But... As much as possible, they will need to rebuild the north side. And it looks like Icon's actually moving away from the north side, allowing 400 to come in and build again. And just out of curiosity, what do people know? Well, 400 has a bit of radar over the west and east. They know that there's a bunch of units over to the center here. They don't know exactly how many or exactly which. And it looks like we're just seeing a lot of weavers coming in from 400. What the? At the same time, Icon's going for a gunship plant and already with three rapiers. Wow. So Icon's going for the switch to anti-air. Pretty good idea against the crab. Although, on the other hand, Tarantulae are not too hard to get, and 400 does have, I think, 35 metal coming? No. No, 25 metal going into their into their spider factory at the moment. Yeah. Same time, ducks coming down to the south. Nothing in the way to stop them. Really, at this point, I think all that 400 can do is try to power through with their own crab. I mean, I suppose they could push back for defense, too, but... Yeah, this is... The southeast side's totally done. The north side is getting rebuilt, which is good. 400, however, still not totally using all the metal they have. They're using some of it, and they have the, everything over here. They're building caretakers. Looks like another factory gunship plant, in fact, coming up for 400 over to the northwest side of the map. So gunships for both players. The gunships for... The rapiers still are waiting around. Eight rapiers waiting around for Icons, probably going to be two or three more, and then we're going to see them move out. Probably to be used against the crab, because, well, what's it going to do? I mean, I guess it could hit them, but it's hard for a crab to hit air. It's possible, it's just really hard. Slow moving, slow moving projectile and all. And more ducks going down. Wow, that was a good shot. Four ducks down right out of the gate. And the remaining ducks got rid of through splash damage. So yeah, 400 continuing along. This is exactly what I figured they'd need to do. Power through. Just get to Icon's base. And no, the rapiers are actually... They're leaving sooner than I expected. Nine of them coming up. No tarantulae or anything. At this point, 400 has no clue there are air units, but they will find out soon enough. And this is where slow is going to happen. And that crab getting slowed down immensely. Which is really unfortunate. The crab... Is it, it's not even going to aim at them. It's just tanking a bunch of shots. So we should see a rapid tarantula switch, I'm guessing. No, no tarantula switch? Really? Well, we see a bunch of tridents, at least. The tridents are probably what we're going to have for anti-air. And over to the southeast, Wasp being taken out just because it went a bit too far. Now, come to think of it, the ducks have also been kind of cleared out. I mean, I figure the ducks will probably get cleared out, deal some damage. The main damage has been dealt, though. 400 lost the entire southeast. They've got the north back. Oh, sh yeah, and the crab's gone, too. I... Well, that sucks. It sucks for 400, at least, because that was pretty much what they needed. So, Icons getting back in this game with the rapiers should be possibly able to take everything else out. 
Okay, tarantulae are coming up. This is exactly what's needed, because while tridents are useful, tarantulae are, I think, more powerful. Well, that was an elemental range at the very least, compared to, what is this, 700? 750. So, higher range, I think higher damage. Oh no, the damage is about the same. But definitely higher range. But yeah, it looks like 400 going for basically a last-ditch mass brawler assault. Hoping for the best that that's going to work. And the Grizzly finally coming up as well for Ikens. Once that, built, once that is built up, it's going to work out. And the Rapiers trying to take out, well, taking out construction over to the southeast. Once again, stopping this. But more Tridents from, uh, from 400 to help deal with Ikens Rapiers. And the Tarantulae are not there yet. Thought they would be, but no. They are still on their way. They are still being built up, right? No, but what? Really? No, it looks like the Tarantulae were in fact cancelled and we're seeing pure Trident. Well, that's just perfect. So, it looks like with all this set up, 400 is probably going to be able to push this away. But of course, the problem is the upcoming Grizzly. Dealing with the Grizzly, which actually shouldn't be too hard, come to think of it. I mean, the Brawlers are already in place, so you already have that. And Venom Redback, which is a bit risky, but then on the other hand, Grizzly doesn't really shoot a lot. I think what's planned is, I mean, the, okay, this is the problem. I think what it is is that 400 knows that Ikens wants to go for Grizzly because Ikens is playing Amphib Factory, Amphib Factory goes for Grizzly. Ikens, I think, knows that 400 knows that and is building boys to counteract the Venom Redback. Because the Venom Redback is actually pretty good against Grizzly. It would stun it out, deal a lot of damage. Grizzlies fire one laser every 10 seconds or so. It's, I think it's 10. Every six seconds, my mistake. They fire it every six seconds. It's relatively infrequent, so it's fairly easy to get a bunch of units in there. The Venoms fire, like, once every second or so. Oh, once every two seconds. Venoms fire way more often. A bunch of them, four of them, be firing off 12 shots in total every single time the Grizzly gets to fire its laser once. So, it might kill one of the Venoms, it might not. But that's the thing, is that overall, it's... And then on top of that, you have the Brawlers coming in, which are sweeping in from the same side as the as the big spider army, or, well, not big, as the moderately sized spider army. It's not that big, but it's probably big enough. So the Brawlers should be able to help get rid of the boys. And they are, okay, so some of them are close. Most of them are not close. Trident's coming in for Icons just, sorry, for 400, just in case Icons not building anything. Not building any anti-air yet. Already lost three, four boys. Looks like this entire group of boys is going to be lost. I'm a bit surprised that these units here, why are these not moving? The Venom Redback mix should be moving over to help continue assaulting this. Or go behind it. I mean, I guess they don't really know. The Grizzly's back there. It's easy to kill. Once the Grizzly has seen that, and the thing is, even though they don't know that, they can still just attack. The Lotus isn't going to get in the way, and then just keep attacking. Go up the hill. See what's over the hill. If it's something relatively safe, you're closer to your target. And at this point, no anti-air coming in from Ikens. I would expect anglers, possibly, but no, not even anglers. The Grizzly trying to do what it can to get rid of the brawlers. It's doing a decent job, actually. I think it one-shots them. Because it's 1,500. Yeah, 1,500 on the beam. Oh, but that's two beams. No, it doesn't one-shot them. It two-shots them. So the Grizzly not even needing to go down to other things. Anglers actually were built. Well, I missed that. Anglers emergency built very rapidly to help get rid of the brawlers. That pushes the Brawlers away, but of course the Venom Redback... Why is this not moving? Venom and Redbacks right here are super useful. They need to move. They need to be actually used here. Like, the Anglers are going to go down so quickly if the Venoms and Redbacks get over there, but... 400 just completely forgot they exist. Not even noticing that they have army over here. Because they have army over here. It's really important they have army over there. And they also have army to the north with air units, but... The Anglers are making short work of them. And another... Okay, finally we get the attack going here. Another Venom Redback attack. About time. And another Crab as well. I was about to say, against the boys, Crab isn't the best option, but it does outrange them, or at least out-tank them. It's like, it's something. Oops. Should I double check? Just a double check. 450 range compared to... 600 range. Yes, Crabs do outrange boys. Pretty sure they two-shot boys, so that's going to be relatively useful. 
with the splash damage. The problem, however, is that while the Venoms and Redbacks going to the south, why are the Redbacks not helping out? Seriously, what is going on here? That must have been an auto attack. What is 400 paying attention to? 400 is paying attention to this area. What the heck? I guess they must have just started to pay attention to that area. Yeah, it looks like they're much more focused on building up the southeast. That's what they were trying to do. Well, okay, that explains that. But still, these Ven like this Venom Redback said, this stealth force, basically, is this, it's a stealth strike force. Well, not really stealth, but it's sort of a... It is a strike force. It is meant to go around the back. It is not meant to be a front-line assault force. And it's finally doing its job, but it's been hanging around forever, and I grant, yes, you want to time that properly, but it felt like you didn't really need to worry about the timing as much. I think that was just not paying attention to it. And Brawler's coming in from the side as well. Nice positioning, nice flanking here. I mean, Icons with the frontal assault doing a lot of damage, but the angles here, even if there were anglers on the ground, the angle that the Brawlers came in is not easy to deal with and not easy to predict. And especially given that Icons had moved all of their anglers out of their base. I mean, a bit of a gamble on 400's part, but still, a good gamble. Paid off. And that is game. Although, once again, why are these not moving? What is 400 paying attention to? Hornet's right here! Okay, they're paying attention to the brawlers, forgetting about the spiders. They must not control group their stuff. I mean, like, control groups is like one, this, th and the brawlers to like five or something, and then just one, right click, five, right click. You're done! I don't know why that's not happening. I think 400 doesn't use control groups. Those are really useful, even in a game like Zero K, where there's a lot of stuff that the UI handles that you don't need to handle yourself manually. Control groups are still extremely useful. But yeah, that's basically the game. 400 takes it after a bit of a scare early on, but yeah, just icons. Like I said, I'm not sure why they went for Amphib on this map. It's not especially fast. I mean, especially if they went for Amphib and didn't go for a very early Grizzly. In the same way that 400 went for a very early Crab. But it's going for a super early Grizzly would at least allow icons to beat down 400's door before 400's really able to get set up. And that's just about what 400 did to Icons of War for Icons gunship plants. And also metal excess. Wow. Almost 10,000 metal excess by 400. And a tenth of that excess by Icons. Still, metal income was larger. Metal produced was larger. Metal used was about the same until the midpoint. So yeah, that excess really got in the way. And you actually see where the excess came in. This right here, this whole area up to about here. All excess. Hmm, neck and neck and unit value. That's... I didn't realize that. And actually, I thought that Icons kind of had an advantage qu for quite some time, but apparently no. Although 400 did lose more units, but yeah, in terms of overall cost, it's about the same. So that was that. Next game is going to be... 400 versus... Magman on Desert Needle Small. That'll be up in a couple minutes, so stay tuned.